So before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relevel for sponsoring this entire tree series. Did you know that companies like Google, Apple, Starbucks are now hiring people without any degree or experience? Why? Because they believe that skills are more important than anything else. Now, top companies in India, like the top startups, have also started following this trend by hiring through a platform which is Relevel, which is backed up by an academy. All you have to do is to give the Relevel test and based on your score, this plat send your candidate profiles to 50 plus companies which includes Cred, Upgrad, Vedantu, Rezopay, etc. And you can get selected for a job role within a week. Another amazing thing about Relevel is it's absolutely free. So please make sure you check out the links in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be discussing the top view of a binary tree from the Freecut tree series. So assume this is the binary tree that is given to you and I'm looking from the topmost level and it is in 1D shape like the tree is entirely in 1D. So if I ask you what is the top view of this binary tree, I can say initially I will be uh, if I just start from left to right, I'll be seeing four. Right after that, I'll be seeing two. Right after that, I'll be seeing one. After that, I'll be seeing three. After that, I'll be seeing seven. So I can say that the top view of this particular binary tree will be four, two, one, three, seven. So I want you to deduce an algorithm which basically gives you, gives me the top view of any given binary tree. So you know that in order to solve any binary tree question, we have to follow traversal. Now, either we follow the recursive traversal or we follow the level order traversal. So over here, we will be following the level order traversal. And why not recursion? I'll come to that, but afterwards. Now, in this level order traversal, if you remember the vertical order traversal that we did uh, using the line concept. So you're going to use the line concept from vertical order traversal. Okay, so this is uh, line zero. This is uh, like whenever we move left, we will consider that as line minus one. And if you are moving much further left, that's one more minus one. That's minus two. And over here, this will be plus one on the right. And this will be another plus one on the right. That's plus two. So on every line, on every line, whichever is the first node. Now on this line minus two, the first node is four. On this line minus one, the first node, when you uh, look from top to bottom, that's two. On this line zero, that's one. On this line 1, that's 3. On this line 2, that's 7. So I can say the first node in every line will be my top view. That is that is what I'll see, right? So we can actually uh, create the line concept and solve this problem using level order traversal. So in order to solve this problem, we will be requiring a couple of data structures. The first one is the queue, which is definitely going to store uh, the initial node, that is the root. And the initial line is zero. Basically, I'm considering the starting line to be zero. And I'll be requiring a map data structure. Again, please make sure that it's a map data structure which stores the line as well as the node, right? And this is a map data structure because map stores everything in a sorted fashion of keys. Do not use unordered map if you're using C++. So let's get started. So initially, you take the first node out from the queue. So that's a node of value one and a line zero. So on line zero, do we have anything on the map? No. So you'll say zero on line zero. The first node that I see is one right after that, you know, level order traversal is left, right. So on the left, we have a two, correct? So you'll take two and since it's on the left, you will minus one on the line. Okay. And on the right, that's a three. So you'll do a plus one on the line. Perfect. So the node one is completed. Next, you take two comma minus one. So the node is two, the line is minus one. So if you have two comma minus one, can I say this, that uh, we have a minus one. So we do not have that on the map. So can I say the node two is the first, uh, first node that I have seen in this line, perfect. So on two, do we have a left? Yes, that's a four. And what, what will be the line? If the line is minus one currently, and if you're moving left, it's going to be minus two and on the right, I have a five. So if the line is minus one and I'm moving right, the line is going to be zero. Perfect. So that's what we have done. Next is three comma plus one being the line. So if you have a three, can I say 
plus one is the line and that's the first time I'm visiting on line one so you store whatever is there on the line next do we have anything left of three do you have anything on left of three no we do not have anything left of three so we're not gonna do anything do you have anything right of three indeed we have that's seven so you're gonna take seven and you're gonna say that we have this on the right so if the line is one if you go right that will be seven comma two so three is also done next four comma minus two do you have a minus two line no so minus two will take the four so you have a node four with a line minus two does four have anything on the left no does four have anything on the right no so the node four is completed next we have a five so let's take five and a line zero very important point now the node five is on the line zero so on line zero we have already one that is the first scene guy so this five will not be considered in your map on five do you have a left yes that is six and what is the line number minus one so six comma minus one perfect so that's that's what you have done with five next take seven comma two so take seven comma two do you have anything on two no so that's the first time you visit someone so you visited the seven have a left on a right no so seven is also done next you will have six comma minus one six comma minus one minus one is already there no need to consider six doesn't have a left doesn't have a right so complete it so once you have completed yes once you have completed you can say that your map yes your map stores your top view so in order to get the top view from left to right like the first is four then is two then is one then is three then is seven just make sure whatever is like is the first element in the map the first element in the map will definitely be minus two right so just take the value there so the first value that you get is four what's the next minus one so the first value that you will get is two next is zero the value that you'll get is one next is one the value that you'll get is three next is two the value that you'll get is seven so i can say that in this way you can easily get the top view of the binary tree so as always the c++ code is on the left and the java code is on the right so what you are given is basically the root of the binary tree so initially what we do is we take a vector of int and this is where we're going to store the top view if the tree is empty we're going to return the empty vector or else we are declare we're going to declare a map and a queue which is going to store a pair so in java you can create your own pair class with root and a uh, zero right after that i will enter the root and the line initially as zero after that i'll keep on traversing till the queue is not empty get the uh, topmost node and once you've got the topmost node get the line number once you've got the line number please make sure that it doesn't exist on the map if that line doesn't exist then you will initialize the node on that map because that's the first time you're visiting any node on that line after that just take whatever is on the left take whatever is on the right enter into the queue with minus one if it's left enter it into the queue with plus one if it's a right once you have done this iterate on the map right iterate on the map and make sure you enter into your answer vector which was going to store the top view and the value is what you will answer you will enter into the answer vector and right after that you can return the answer right so what will be the time complexity guys the time complexity will be b go of n and what will be the space complexity the space complexity will also be b go of n like yeah you're using a q and a map so it's twice of n but yes like in generalized way we can call it as b go of n and space complexity as b go of n standard question uh, can i use the recursive traversal in order to solve this problem the answer will be no why because just imagine if you use a in order traversal first you'll visit this then you'll visit this then you'll visit this then you'll visit this then you'll visit this so on this line one on this line one you will end up visiting node six the first time whereas the three was the first node that you should have visited that's why the recursive solution cannot work directly you have to introduce another logic of height also right whenever you are making sure that whichever node is on the line like the guy with the least height on that uh, on this line will be seen from the top view so you have to introduce another logic of height that is why i do not prefer the recursive way instead i prefer the level order traversal that is much more intuitive and you do not have to implement any extra logic on that 
So I hope you've understood the entire explanation as well as the code. Just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series. Also, if you wish, you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care.